हेलो गाइस वेलकम टू द एस्पिरेंट स्ट्रेटजी वी आर डिस्कसिंग ट्वेंटी फोर्थ मे ट्वेंटी ट्वेंटी थ्री करंट अफेर्स लेट एस स्टार्ट अवर सेशन कैनरा बैंक लार्जेस्ट बैयर फ्रम गवर्नमेंट इ मार्केट पोर्टल कैनरा बैंक एम एच एज द लारजेस्ट बैयर अमांग स्टेट ओन लैंडर्स इन ट्वेंटी ट्वेंटी टू ट्वेंटी ट्वेंटी 592.82 crore from the portal Punjab National Bank was the second largest followed by Indian Overseas Bank and State Bank of India with 158.22 crores in 2022 Guys Canara Bank the largest buyer from government e-market portal so you need to collect and remember this thing is which bank is the largest buyer from government e market portal which is canara bank okay and what is the value that is the buyer with the amount is 592.82 crores you need to remember if this number also very important okay guys the number of the value is 592. 82 crores from which bank which is canara bank if you had taken in the presence of uh, ordering wise okay which bank is the second one or which bank is the third one or which bank is the fourth one we can followed by banks are punjab national bank which is 164.57 crores which is the second one and the followed bank is indian overseas bank which is 159.82 crores and state bank is 158.22 crores in 2023 along with this all the public sector bank also there but we didn't recall the thing is no necessary at all that's why we i skipped all the remaining banks okay guys here you need to recall the thing which is the largest buyer from the e government e market portal which that is canara bank okay guys and you need to recall the thing is where is the headquarters of canara bank that is in bangalore who is the executive director of the canara bank the person name is k sachinarayana raju guys you need to recall the thing what is the tagline of canara bank the tagline of canara bank is together we can we had already discussed for matching okay guys in the scenario the syndicate bank was matched with canara bank okay you need to recall the thing is one more here okay guys going to next question india slipped 422 crores worth arms to myanmar junta according to the report title the billion dollar death trade released by office of the United Nations High Commissioner of Human Rights the military junta in Myanmar has imported roughly 1 billion dollars worth of weapons from five countries that are Russia China Singapore India and Thailand since it took over the country in a cup of, in a cup in February 2021 guys you need to remember here what is what we can see here okay so the country is myanmar it is importing the arms worth of how many rupees from india that is 422 crores okay the myanmar country importing from india around 22 crores worth of arms okay along with that india four more countries were there that are Russia, China, Singapore and Thailand. You need to recall these things and the report was given by which organization that is OHCHR. The abbreviation is the Office of the United Nations High Commissioner of High Commissioner for Human Rights. Okay guys, this is you need to recall the thing and what is the country name that is Myanmar. and what is the weapons for all the countries roughly how much the value is 
roughly is 1 billion dollars you need to recall the thing is what is the value and from the india also what is the value individually and what is the country and what are the countries are giving to the myanmar that is worth of arms okay you need to recall the things here okay guys when united nations was founded that is 1945 of october 24th okay guys where is the headquarters of united nations that is new york united states who is the general secretary that person name is antonio gutres okay guys going to next question india to host quad summit in 2024 work for global welfare peace prosperity india will host the quad summit in 2024 prime minister narendra modi announced at the quad summit 2023 taking place at hiroshima in japan quad group established in 2007 lasted until 2008 guys we can see here india to host quad summit in 2024 guys india will be hosting the quad summit in 2024 okay with the uh, for the work for what is that global welfare peace prosperity we can say this is the theme but the quad summit countries are work for global welfare peace prosperity you need to remember this thing also we can expect which is which among the not above in the given options okay guys so that you need to remember what are the countries are quad countries you need to recall the countries australia india japan and united states these four countries are quad countries okay guys so india will be hosting quad summit in 2024 you need to recall the country name along with that in 2023 which country is hosting that is japan okay guys you need to remember the thing and when the quad quad countries are established this quad organization that is in 2007 for the first time but it is lasted until 2018 and again it is re established in 2017 you need to recall the thing when is established for the first time the answer is 2007 when is re established the answer is 2017 between 10 years gap the, here you need to remember okay guys what are the quad countries we can remember one more time that is that are uh, australia india japan and united states okay guys this is the news so you need to recall the things are in which year india will be hosting that is 2024 in 2024 which country for the quad summit is hosting that is india and this year japan will japan had been hosting okay guys going to next question india asks for 55 million dollars funding in first call with pandemic fund in a significant development india is believed to have placed a funding request of around 55 million dollars in its first call with the pandemic fund of the world bank according to the funds website the pandemic fund governing board has approved an envelope of 300 million dollars for its first round of funding to help developing countries better prepare for and respond to future pandemics guys you need to recall the things what is what we can see here india for asking how much funding value that is 55 million dollars okay for the what is the purpose in the purpose of first call with the pandemic fund this is the funding of in the first call with the pandemic fund which organization will be giving to that value is world bank you need to remember okay guys world bank in the news too many ways you need to recall that all the things and here according to the fund website the pandemic fund governing board has approved an envelope of how much what is the value that is 300 million dollars okay you need to recall this number also along with that 55 million dollars okay guys and here which country is asking that is india you need to recall country name also 
Okay guys, this is the news from here. And where is the headquarters of Old Bank? That is Washington DC. Who is the president present for Old Bank? The person name is David Malpas. Guys, you can recollect one more thing which is Ajay Banga will be replacing for David Malpas in June 2nd onwards. Okay guys, from June 2nd onwards, Ajay Banga will be replacing to David Malpas. Okay guys, Ajay Banga, he is the Indian person and he got Padma Sri in 2016. You need to recall the things here. Okay guys, so you need to recall the thing Ajay Banga will be future president of the World Bank. Okay guys, going to next question. Government of India set a target to increase highways net worth to 2 lakh kilometers by 2025. The construction of national highways has witnessed around 48% growth in the last 9 years and its total length in the country has gone up to nearly 1.4 lakh kilometers against 98,000 kilometers in 2014 to 15. Few days ago in Rajasthan, Prime Minister Narendra Modi ji laid a foundation stone and decided to the nation projects worth of 5,500 5, crore rupees. Okay guys, guys government of India sets a target to increase national highways of net worth to 2 lakh kilometers by the ending of 2025. You need to recall the thing year is very important that is 2025. What is the target kilometers that is 2 lakh kilometers and which organization in between we can recall the thing here that is road and transport highways okay guys here you need to recall the thing and here the construction of national highways has witnessed what is the percent growth that is 48 percent growth okay guys and it is the total length in the country has gone up nearly how many kilometers that is 1.47 lakh kilometers you need to recall the thing 1.47 lakh and 2 lakh kilometers is the target set by 2025 and what is the uh, what is the project worth of prime minister light in rajasthan that is 5500 crore rupees okay guys you need to recall the thing is here this is these all the things from this news important okay guys and who is the union minister of road and transport highways the person name is nitin gatkari okay guys going to next question the union women and child development minister smithy irani inaugurated the women laborers convention organized by the Kerala units of BMS in Tiruvannathapuram. Guys, the Union Women and Child of Minister, the person name is Smriti Irani. The person who is inaugurated, what is that? The, uh, the convention is organized, the Women Laborers Convention, inaugurated by which Union Minister? The Minister, uh, the Minister name is Union, the Union Women and Child Development. Women and Child Development Minister, the Union Minister person name is Smriti Irani and inaugurated what is that? The Women Laborer Convention in which state? That is in Kerala. Okay guys, you need to recall the things here. What I am circular or rectangular in this shape. You need to recall the things here. Okay guys, so if here you need to recall the ministry name the person of ministry who is portfolio holding this and what is inaugurated that is women the women laborers convention and which state in which state that is state name the state name is kerala okay guys who is the person chief minister of kerala Vinari vijayan and who is the governor of kerala the person name is arif mohammad khan okay guys going to next question Maharashtra Chief Minister Eknath Sinde approved the first good governance 
regulations of the country which aims to make state administration more accountable accessible dynamic and transparent the good governance manual will provide end to end online services to the citizens within stipulated time frames by expanding the scope of the app the apple sarkar seva kendra and citizens grievances will be redressed at a faster speed guys maharashtra chief minister who is the person eknas sinde and who is approved by what is that the first governance regulations of the country in the country this is the first time and first state the state name is maharashtra what is that approved the first good governance regulations in the country okay guys you need to recall the thing the first good governance regulations approved by which state the state name is maharashtra who is the person of chief minister of the maharashtra the person name is eknath shinde okay guys you need to recall the thing and what is the uh, help of and what is the target of the first good governance regulations and which is aims to make the state administration more accountable accessible dynamic and transparent to the citizens okay guys the all services provided in the online to the citizens okay guys you need to recall the thing here and here one more thing is the expanding scope of apple sarkar seva kendra and citizens you need to recall the grievances portal this is apple sarkar seva kendra and citizens okay guys and we had seen who is the governor of maharashtra the person name is ramesh bais okay guys and uh, chief minister already we had seen but the governor name is ramesh bais okay guys going to next question in telangana sahas an initiative towards making workplaces safer for women has been launched sahas which means courage is a program that aims at strengthening the support ecosystem for women who face workplace sexual harassment under the initiative the sahas microsite sahas sathi chatbot sahat whatsapp number forum and online support facility were launched in hyderabad guys in telangana sahas an institute towards making workplaces safer for women has been launched guys you need to remember here in telangana uh, for the women uh, safest uh, launched by uh, what is the uh, launched by the chief minister uh, the person uh, ksr and you need to recall the thing what is the initiative the initiative is sahas you need to recall sahas and what is the sahas this is uh, which means the courage sahas means courage you need to recall what is the meaning of sahas the sahas meaning is courage and the program of initiative what is aimed to that is the strengthening the support ecosystem for women who faces workplace sexual harassment that is the that is the reason behind uh, sahas initiative launched by the telangana government okay guys so uh, the sahas as a uh, program was implemented by which state government which is telangana state government okay guys you need to recall who is the uh, chief minister of telangana the person name is k chandrashekar rao we can call it as alias ksr okay guys and who is the governor of telangana the person name is tamilisai sundar rajan governor is tamilisai sundar rajan okay guys going to next question madhya pradesh became the first state to provide a travel for pilgrims under mukhyamantri theerth darshan yojana the scheme was introduced in 2012 the first batch of the pilgrims will took off from bhopal airport to visit pragyaraj in uttar pradesh guys this is the first initiative uh, from a travels you need to recall a travel to providing by the which state government the state government is madhya pradesh okay guys this is for uh, who are the persons it will helpful for pilgrims under the which scheme 
and the scheme name is Mukhyamantri Tiyad Darsana Yojana. Okay, under this scheme, a travel was initiated from which state? That is Madhya Pradesh. So, a travel, you need to recall the thing, a travel from the for the first time in India, which is a Madhya Pradesh state government provided to the pilgrims. Okay, guys, this scheme was introduced in which year? You need to recall, this scheme was introduced in 2012. 2012 the scheme was introduced in 2012 the year you need to recall okay guys and the air travel from where to where from Bhopal airport to Pragyaraj in Uttar Pradesh okay guys from Madhya Pradesh to Uttar Pradesh that is the city uh, that is the uh, we can say Bhopal and Pragyaraj okay guys and who is the person of chief minister for Madhya Pradesh the person name is Shevra Singh Chauhan the governor of the Madhya Pradesh, Mangubai C. Patel. Okay, guys, you need to recall the things here. Going to next question. Guys, please do subscribe. And uh, like is very important, guys. If you are liking the video, it will reach few more persons uh, easily. So that please do a like and subscribe. And if you want to PDF, please go to our Telegram channel. I will providing pdf also and the link is given below description column okay guys the indian the indian navy's sixth and final cavalry class submarine vagishri has begun its sea trial and it's expected to be commissioned into the force by early next year the commissioning of the submarine built under the project 75 vagishri scheduled for delivery to the indian navy in e in early 2024 after completion of the sea trials guys this is the sixth submarine we can say the final cavalry class the the name is the submarine name is vagsri you need to recall what is what we can see here this is what is the number the submarine number is six what is the name of the submarine that is vagsri and it will be under the project uh, built by which project that is project 75 okay and uh, it will be uh, going to delivery in which year that is 2024 okay guys and this is the news from the submarines in the defense sector okay guys and we you need to recall the things we had already seen the number is six what is the Final Calvary class submarine name that is Vagishri and what is the project that is project 75 okay guys and it has going to be sea trials that is the in the news it will be a uh, delivery in the for to the Indian Navy early 2024 okay guys this is the news going to next question in Jammu and Kashmir, the third tourism working group meeting under India's G20 presidents began at Sri Lanka in Jammu and Kashmir. The meeting deliberated on five interconnected priority areas which include green tourism, digitalization, skills, tourism, MSME and destinations. Guys, G20 presidency this year, which country? That is India. Okay. You need to remember, you need to recall the thing is G20 presidency under uh, in this year, India is hosting. And at this program, the third tourism working group held in which place? That is Srinagar in Jammu and Kashmir. Okay guys, this meeting is deliberated five interconnected priorities. Five inter interconnected priorities areas which are green tourism, digitalization, skills, tourism MSME and destinations. You need to recall the things. What are the five priority areas? Okay, guys, that are green tourism, digitalization, skills, tourism MSME, and destinations. And how many interconnected priority areas are there? That are number is five. You need to recall the number is five. And third tourism working group meeting held in which place? That is in Srinagar, Jammu and Kashmir. Okay, guys. Third tourism working group meeting held in Srinagar in Jammu and Kashmir. Under G20 presidency, 
so this was a meeting was happened and uh, and one more thing you need to recall in in this year g20 presidency holding which country the hosting presidency is india okay you need to recall the things india and what is the capitals of jammu and kashmir that is srinagar for summer and uh, jammu for winter okay you need to recall the things yes for yes and jammu not done other than yes okay that is winter okay guys and who is the lieutenant governor of jammu and kashmir the person name is manoj sinha okay guys manoj sinha the person name okay guys going to next question the environment and climate sustainability working group meeting under india's g20 presidency is taking place in mumbai the meeting is the meeting is a critical step in fostering the efforts of the g20 countries invitee countries and international organizations towards a sustainable and resilient future guys environment and climate sustainability working group meeting under india's g20 presidency is taking place in which city the city name is mumbai you need to recall under the g20 presidency it was happening in mumbai okay guys so the uh, under which meeting is what is the group name the group name is environment and climate sustainability working group you need to recall this is the keyword for what which city for hosting under g20 presidency the answer is mumbai so this is you need to remember for as a keyword under g20 presidency in mumbai okay guys so keyword is environmental and climate sustainability working group okay it is going to be held in mumbai okay guys uh, we had already seen what is the g20 uh, and what is the G g20 and uh, what a uh, which country is hosting g20 in this year that is india so we had seen in previous question okay guys and who is the chief minister of maharashtra the person name is eknath sinde governor is ramesh bais okay guys going to next question renowned and influential british writer person name is martin amis martin amis has passed away at the age of 73 in florida guys martin amis the person is writer who is belongs to writer the category is writer category who is from british well known writer has recently passed away you need to recall martin amis martin amis has recently passed away at the age of what is 73 in which area that is florida okay guys this is the news we need to recall martin amis belongs to which category writer okay guys and going to next question in italian open final world number 3 tennis star daniel medvedev clinched his maiden clay court title after beating holger rune it is medvedev's fifth title of 2023 and victory lifts him above novak djokovic to second in the world rankings the men's doubles title has been captured by hugo neis and jan jelenski in rome australia belgian pair of storm hunter and elise martin have become the women's doubles champions after defeating top seeded americans of coco golf and jessica pagula okay guys jessica pagula okay so it is the italian open final guys we are discussing for italian open final so the men's singles won by daniel smadwev who is from russian country okay guys you need to recall the thing the italian open title uh, won by the person name is daniel madwev daniel madwev belongs to which country the country name is russia okay guys and who is defeating the person name is hogar ron hogar ron defeated okay guys daniel madwe defeated by which person hogar ron the hogar ron belongs to which country he is the danish player you need to recall the thing danish player okay and here 
you need to recall one more thing is Daniel's midway fifth title of the 2023 in the 2023 uh, this is the fifth title who is the person is Daniel Medvedev okay guys and this victory lifts him above Novak Djokovic to second place in the world rankings okay guys going to next question Indian athlete Sahil Singh clinched a bronze medal at the Golden Grand Prix 2023 Athletics meet in the women's long jump event in Yokohama, Japan. Guys, Indian athlete Shaili Singh clinched a bronze medal at Golden Grand Prix 2023. Athletes meet in the women's long jump event held in which country that is Japan and which place Yokohama, the place name. Okay, guys, you need to recall the thing. Sahil say he belongs to which state? The state is Uttar Pradesh. Okay, so Sahil say he belongs to which state? The state is Sahil say he is belongs to which state is Uttar Pradesh. Okay, guys, and who is from athlete? Okay, in India, and he she was clinched which medal? She was clinched bronze medal. Okay, guys, you need to recall the thing at which at which event? The event name is. Golden Grand Prix 2023 Athletics. Golden Grand Prix 2023 Athletics. Shaili Singh clinched bronze medal. She is from she is from Uttar Pradesh. Okay, guys. And Golden Grand Prix 2023 held in which city? The city is Yokohama, and which is in Japan. Okay, guys. The country name is Japan. Golden Grand Prix 2023 Athletics event was held in Japan. Okay, guys, going to next question. Elena Rebikana won Italian Open, beating Anakilena Kalinia in Rome. Okay, guys, so in Italian Open tennis, Elena Rebinka of Kazakhstan won the title, defeating Ukraine's Anakilena. Kalinia. Okay, guys, you need to recall the thing is who is the person won Italian Open's Women's El Elena Rebikina. You need to remember who is from which country. The country name is Kazakhstan. Okay, guys, and defeating person name is also important. You need to recall this name also. Okay, guys, and Italian Open held in which place that is Rome. Okay, guys, and you need to recall the thing is this was Rebinica's second title of the year that is first one is 2022 okay guys so Rebi, Rebi, uh, Rabakina's second title of the year first one is 2022 you need to recall that is Wimbledon 2022 and you need to recall the second one is this is that is Italian Open okay guys she is from which country she is from Kazakhstan. Okay, guys, you need to recall the things here. And uh, defeating defeating person, defeating country person, country is Ukraine. You need to recall the thing is, is this is also very important. Okay, guys, going to next question. Book title: The Golden Years. And what is the inside inside the story of Golden Years? The many joys of living a good long life. Okay, guys, and who is the person of the author of the book is the Golden Years. The author name is Ruskin Bond. Guys, well-known author. So, you need to recall the author name is Ruskin Bond and the book is the Golden Years. Okay, we, you can see here how the book uh, front page was going on. Okay, guys, so the Golden Years, the book with the title and author by Ruskin Bond. Okay, guys, going to next question. 21 May 2023, World Day for Cultural Diversity for Dialogue and Development. Guys, uh, this is the day for 21 May 2023. You need to remember the World Day for Cultural Diversity for Dialogue and Development. Okay, guys, and going to next question. 2022 May 2023 International Day for Biological Diversity 
इंटरनेशनल डे फॉर बायोलॉजिकल डाइवर्सिटी व्हाट इज द डे गाइस 2022 मई ओके व्हाट इज द थीम ऑफ दिस डे द थीम फॉर फ्रॉम एग्रीमेंट टू एक्शन बिल्ड बैक बायोडाइवर्सिटी बिल्ड बैक बायोडाइवर्सिटी ओके गाइस यू नीड टू रिकॉल द थिंग इज व्हाट इज द डे दैट इज बायोलॉजिकल डाइवर्सिटी व्हेन इट विल बी सेलिब्रेटिंग द डे इज 20 22 मई 2023 व्हाट इज द थीम ऑफ दिस डे द थीम इज from agreement to action build back biodiversity okay guys thank you for watching daily karna fetch guys please do subscribe like share which is very helpful for me and if you want to pdf please go through our telegram channel the telegram channel link is given below description okay guys thank you